little fox. The Willow Creek Twins, Chapter 41. A new year, a new project. It was the Monday after New Year's Day. Joy was sitting in science class listening to Ms. Barrow talk about the weather. She passed a note to Katie that said, No more rain. Katie nodded and sighed. <sighs> it had been raining in Willow Creek for days. Joy wished it would snow. Science books away, please, Ms. Barrow said. It was time for social studies. Who knows what holiday is in January? Laura raised her hand. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, she said. Right. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Ms. Barrow asked. He wanted black people and white people to be equal, Carlos answered. So they could go to the same schools and live in the same neighborhoods. Yes, so he gave speeches and led marches for freedom, said Ms. Barrow. He fought for something he believed in. That made him one of America's great leaders. Ms. Barrow wrote leaders on the board. Our next social studies project is going to be about American leaders. She passed out a worksheet that said, What makes a leader? You'll all choose someone famous in history and give a report on him or her. Explain what made this person a great leader. Then, I want you to try to live like your leader for one week. That sounds interesting, thought Joy. I might choose George Washington. Does that mean I have to wear a funny hat with three corners? Katie asked. Ms. Barrow smiled. No, Katie. But now and then, you can ask yourself, what would George Washington do if he were me? I want to do my project on George Washington, Carlos said. I thought of him first. Katie rolled her eyes. But okay, I choose Abraham Lincoln instead. I'm going to do Martin Luther King, Luke announced. All the fourth graders began shouting out names of famous leaders. Joy sat quietly at her desk thinking. She wanted to pick the perfect leader for her project. When the twins got home from school, they found Grandpa in the kitchen. He was lifting a tray of chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. Just in time, girls, he said. Yum! Thanks, Grandpa, Katie said, plopping herself down at the table. Joy went to the refrigerator. She poured a glass of milk for herself and for Katie. Grandpa, who is your favorite American leader? Joy asked. Hmm, probably President Franklin D. Roosevelt. He helped our country out of the Great Depression. Many people have lost everything, their jobs, their houses, even all their money. And Roosevelt found ways to help many of these people. Grandpa answered. Why? We're doing a project on leaders at school, Katie said, her mouth full of cookie. I chose Abraham Lincoln. He was brave enough to say he didn't like slavery, even when it made him unpopular. And he worked very hard during America's Civil War, Grandpa added. Lincoln is a great choice for your project. Joy frowned. She still didn't know which leader to choose. Oh! It's already 4.30, she cried, glancing up at the clock. I have to take care of the chickens, do my homework, and practice my fiddle. And wash the dishes later, Grandpa reminded her. Because Dad and I are leaving for South Dakota right after dinner. Joy had forgotten that Grandpa and Dad were leaving tonight for their annual fishing trip. That meant she and Katie would have more chores this week. She jumped up from her chair. It was going to be a busy week. <laughs>